All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are in SnowRunner. And ever since ending the last episode, I've had this movie scene playing in my head. What do we do now? If we turn around, we're gonna lose five hours just backtracking. Turn around? Why, because of this? We can make it. And I think we're gonna yeah, I, I, I don't think we're going to follow in their footsteps. Uh, we're actually going to take this side path down here and then cross the temporary bridge. And then it looks like you can get up either side. I'm, I'm not really sure on that. I, I might have to traverse down either side of the river. Uh, it looks like maybe only scouts can actually get up that route. Uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe maybe we can follow this river or this uh, ice path here along the edge of the coastline and work our way up towards the uh, marker there. But uh, it's hard to tell if the marker is behind that mountain. I think it is, so that might be a problem in of itself. But let's go ahead and uh, change trucks because we're going to take the Azov first. We're going to fire this up. We're going to head down this little side road and hopefully if the Azov can do it, I know the, uh, the Zeeks will be able to follow suit. Ooh, let's make sure we're not going to clear that. Yep, no, nope. let's back up a little bit make that little adjustment. <clears throat> All right, so who knows? Um, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Let's see if we can't get off this rock. I did not expect the uh, the truck to sink like this. Uh, come on. There's no winch. I figured there was no winch point. There we go. Come on. Get up there. I've never wanted to say this more, but get on that ice. All right. That was a little uh, that was a little sketchy, but we did it. It's just oh. Here I thought I was going to make that perfectly. Let's just take this nice and slow. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is a, uh, a scout path. And yeah, the, um, I'm going to have to back up and then make a right hand turn or left hand turn. Sorry. Yep. I'm uh, 42 years old and I still don't know my left from my right. And let's see here. This is all fairly solid, so I'm going to stay on the, the ice as long as I can. Looks like the road might be up that way, but falling over these rocks, we should be okay. If I'd stop running into larger boulders, we would be okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Alright, now where's the road exactly? So the road actually goes away from us. Uh, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and try to get to the actual road. I think if we take a hard right here. Yeah, there we go. Should be able to bounce the trailer off that. Or not hit it at all. That's even better. 
Uh, where's a good spot to... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive up the road a little ways. Hopefully it, uh, it opens up. That doesn't look overly promising. <laughs> I think we're okay. Yeah, so... Alright, there's a little side... <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, I guess the better path would have been to go up that route. Uh, ooh, there's like a crop dusting over here. It's crop dusting, right? Where the... No, that's where they... Crop circles, that's what I was trying to think of. Crop dusting is where they either fertilize or uh, spray for insects. That type of thing. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure that's up there is where we double back. I will just, I will follow the rules. I will follow the road. We will try to get turned around and headed back in the right direction. Now we could take that. That looks awfully muddy. But then again, I could have probably just taken the uh, the ice road shoulder thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm actually gonna take this route. I think we'll I think we'll be okay. It looks icy. But that's it. And we've got chains. <laughs> I I probably should have scouted this. Instead of just trying to wing it, uh, we've got nice little rock under our axles. And then we've got something else holding us back. But we've got the power of the winch, so. Um. I need to slow down. <laughs> okay, where exactly am I going? I have no clue. Alright, I think what we can do is... Once we get down here, I actually, uh... Yeah, so I wanted to give a shout out to Mario Fleers who had commented that uh, I could have could have went a much better way, a uh, much easier way. Once I got to the airfield, apparently you follow the shore uh, to the left and then you take a right and then you end up on a frozen lake, which you can then take a main path to the garage or not to the garage. Sorry to the warehouse and we almost tipped over there. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to look at my phone and his uh, comment, but if you want to look at his comment, he went ahead and posted it in the last video. Uh, so if you guys are trying to figure this out on your own, you can try to use that information or you can uh, try not doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah, there's like, there's no way I would have been able to get over that. I think I can go this way. I've, I've kind of thrown away the idea of using a train. <laughs> I want to, I want to get through these main paths first. I don't know if we can clear this. Can we get the grip? Oh, we got the first front tires on. But oh, we do have a winch point. Yes. Oh. There we go. Now we should be good. I think if we've made it this far. 
Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going till we find a a nice large road. I feel like we're just getting onto it. Uh, my gut is to stay on this main road. Well, I call it a main road, but is it? It looks like a trail full of well snow. <laughs> It, it almost looks like it would be nicer to be on the rocks down there by the river. And it looks like that ice is, uh, ice that would really wouldn't break, so... Maybe I should go back and get the, uh, the Zeeks. Try to bring that across and follow... Kind of follow my, my path that I forged with this thing. Come on, you can do it. Kind of wanted to get a nicer road, but then again, this little path here might not be too bad to uh, pull over and, and let the uh, the Zeeks pass, and then we can reform our train. Uh, I am down to 40 gallons of fuel in this thing, so. Let's go ahead and switch back to the Zeke. And uh, let's go ahead and skip to morning because we're kind of losing the sunlight. Although morning's not very much brighter. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Wow, that was that was a wonderful backing up job I just did. Um, what is, what is my issue today? I want the trailer to go that way. There we go. I, I think it's the long wheelbase and relatively short trailer. Alright, you know what? That should be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but I didn't quite back up enough. Darn it, like what? Okay, you know what? <laughs> All right, let's uh let's uh try this again. One more time. Yep, let's just go straight back. Oh, get away from that pole. I feel like I just put myself in the exact same position. There we go. And now we've hit the pole. Uh, is there a reset button? Like... Why is this not working? I feel like SnowRunner is uh, baiting me right now. Oh, come on. Let's go straight back. There you go. Watch the trailer. There, there we go. Okay, note to self. Do not back this truck up. Alright, that took entirely way too long way too long. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit smoother that time. The only spot I'm kind of nervous about is the, uh, the ice that's on the other side of the river, that little canyon run that we did because, uh, well, frankly, 
We don't have chains on this thing. Which is going to make us slide all over the place. We barely fit across that bridge. Wow, in fact, I don't think our trailer did. Okay, let's just cut hard left. Yay, we, we, we did it. <laughs> I can't believe how long it took me just to back up this truck. Oh, man. Okay, anyways. Let's, uh... Now that we actually have a view of where we can go. Do I... want to try to go a different route? I mean, I'm pretty sure this truck can just crawl up through here. I hope it can. I think it can. Although it's kind of getting hung up on everything else. I, I, I think this is the main... No, the main path right there. I don't, I don't think the, uh, the Azov would have been able to do this. Although, wait a minute, that's the path there that I came up anyways. Um. Do we not have a tree that will hold us? I'm not even looking anymore. There we go. Finally got one. <laughs> I just murdered about 120 trees. Yeah, this thing jackknifes pretty easily, so this should be good. And just in case I if I didn't get all the trees there, I just ran I think two over. Perfect. Now, the only thing that's going to uh, mess us up is that if there's a nice little, I don't know, rock slide on this or a bridge is out again. Uh, but I guess if a bridge is out again, I can play my scene, my clip over again. <laughs> uh, I feel like it, you know, it takes, it takes a little bit longer to edit, but, you know, once I, once I build up a little library clips it shouldn't be too bad uh, it's just a matter of trying to think of the quotes it did it did take me a while to remember exactly what movie that uh, bridge scene was from uh, but luckily the internet's there and and, and a couple of good keywords really uh, set it apart come on no nope. just get rid of that tree get rid nope Oh, telephone pole? Thank you. Because apparently we're just driving through a snow rip, uh, snow drift right now. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's attach the winch, but we're gonna do it. Oh, well, we can't do it there. All right. We'll we'll do it from that point. There we go, that helps out a ton. And then now that we've cleared the uh, path, that should uh, be easier to get through. Um, so this road is pure ice. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, lag there, computer. Oh, there's a there's a lighthouse. How oh, pretty. Um, yeah, the computer always seems to lag at the perfect opportune spots. What do we got going on here? 
Um. I only hit that too hard. Get a little help from our friends there. Okay, I did not expect this road to be... Ooh. <laughs> Come on, get up there. I did not expect this road to be pure ice. Oh my god, I'm hard left and I can't go any. Back up, back up, back up. I need chains. <laughs> that is the name of this game. There's a tree that will help. Okay. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see a snowbank in my life. Ooh. I have a sinking feeling that this hill is going to be almost impossible to get up without chains. Should be able to press that one pretty easily. Ooh. Okay, well at least we can magically reach into the cliff <laughs> and attach to something. That probably shouldn't have been there, SnowRunner developers. Okay, and now... Seeing on how I'm having issues just getting up this little hill. I don't know how I'm going to get up that hill. Maybe use the telephone poles? I don't think gunning it's going to work. Okay, we have we have a telephone pole. I'm just gonna go this way around it. Um, what do we got here? Ooh, can I just go up this way? To here? Let's see how grippy this is. I mean, there are some pretty big trees here, so... Let's just start ripping out the ones that won't work. See, can I get, can't get to any of those trees. It's like they did that on purpose. Okay, we can get to that one. Let's just yank our truck that way. Can get some forward grip, grip, please. Come on, I'm stupid. Rock is in the way. I knew there had to be another one. I feel like our trailer is falling like dead weight or something back there. Oh, 
Okay, let's just keep going. This might be easier to do from the cab. Uh, now I can't see what the heck's going on. Okay, I thought that was weird. I knew we weren't quite hooked up to where we should have been. Come on, get some grip, 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 grip. We might be okay if we stick to this shoulder. I'm not gonna lie, chains. Chains would have made sense. There we go. You know what they need to do? They need to come up with a salt truck. Yep, a salt truck so that we can uh, salt these icy roads. That would that would that would make a lot of sense. That would make for commuting to work a lot safer. Alright, so we are at the top of the hill. I'm 100% shocked that we made that climb. And I'm about to go over this boulder that's going to screw me up, isn't it? Because I wasn't really paying attention to where it was. Okay, good. It's smaller than I thought it was. Alright, so... That's where I would have crap. Let's uh, let's just get up to the top and then figure out where we are on the map. Oh, oh. Wow, that was a struggle. That was a struggle. Oh goody, and now it's all downhill from here. Perfect. Um... I'm gonna stop the engine there. We're gonna go back to the Azov. And uh, since we're not coming this way, we can just... ...follow this road over. And maybe... ...maybe we can use the Azov and its chains to uh... ...help the Zeke out. But I think I definitely will drop off the uh, the lumber first, or the timber, I should say. Yeah, I should should probably use the correct terminology. So I tried avoiding the ice that we took this truck on and I ended up running into way more. Uh, can I drive over this? Nice. Where's my chainsaw? You know what? I'm going over it. Haha. <laughs> Don't tell me it's one of these trees. You know what? We can go around. I don't think... I don't think this is going to be too bad for right here. And as I expected, it's not. It's not too bad at all. Um, let's... Oh, start the engine. I don't, I don't know how the heck I just turned off my engine. Uh, there isn't, there isn't a great amount of trees here. Just this one pole. Oh, there's one. Okay, good.
So I'm guessing there's uh there's really no way to get around that tree. I think it's uh pretty permanent there, so. Uh but where do I go from here? Because that looks like it should be fun. That looks like a path I want to do every single day. I'm lying. I don't know if you guys caught the uh, sarcasticness in my voice, but I'm lying. It does look challenging though, so it would be interesting to try to do it. No! No visible! What? I'm right... Uh, I think the back... It's gonna be a little funky. There we go. Come on. No, no, no. Why are you tipping? The ice is breaking. Is it ice? Ah, it's really snow, isn't it? Doesn't seem to want to let her back there go. Uh oh. Okay, we can't winch ourselves backwards. Or can we? I literally just have... Oh, I've got that winch point. There we go. Oh, I was a little nervous there. I thought... I thought for sure we were going to have to get the Azoth over... Or the, uh, the Zeke's over here. And I should probably just call it the 612. It um, seems like a fitting name for the truck. Alright, so I did have multiple comments from multiple people saying how tough this place is and how it's not bad once you once you learn it, but when you first get here it's it's not easy, so I I, I would I would kinda have to agree with them. But we do have a trailer store there, which is wonderful. I always like where there's a trailer store. We can just easily get rid of the trailers because... I don't like having them lay around that much. And I do have them lay around a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and... Drop this load off. And I think we'll just jump to the um, 612. <sighs> okay, cool. Yay. We got 19 gallons of fuel left. We don't have a garage yet. There is one on the map. Um, somewhere. Isn't there? Didn't I? S I swear to God, I saw one. I thought I saw a... Huh. Okay. I thought I saw a garage on the map. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was the warehouse? Well, you know what? The good news is we have a we have a trailer store. So we can get rid of trailers, we can uh we can get fuel, we can get repair. Uh we can't really change our truck setup though. That's gonna be the the annoying thing. Um, you know where I think I saw the garage. Kind of dumb of me. Uh, where is it? No, oh, there. Yeah, global map. Is it not? Where's my mouse? There we go. Oh, garage is not discovered. Yeah, I think this is where it was, but... Why was it not letting me select Imra? It, it, whatever the name of this place is. 
I Madra. I I Madra. I don't know. Anyways, um, so there is a garage on this map, so that's good. Um. So yeah, let's let's get rid of this trailer because I think this truck is done. Uh, it may it may come in handy though to. Uh, use as a rescue truck. Uh, let's grab let's grab a fuel tanker. We will refuel and then we will sell it. <laughs> um, you know actually what I was thinking and what I was gonna say is instead of having trailer points like this where you can buy whatever trailer you want there should be trailer drop-offs where you can get rid of trailers that you don't want that are more kind of spread out throughout the maps but you can't buy say like a fuel trailer here and refuel your truck and then just sell it and not actually spend any money um i don't know that's just a thought of mine let me know in the comments what you think that seems like it would be kind of dumb or pointless or, you know, if it's a great idea. I, I, I'm hoping you guys think it's a great idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and switch to the 612. Like, like I said, I think we're okay. We've got plenty of fuel. We can actually see the drop-off point down there, so... As long as we just take this slow... I mean, it's downhill, so what's the worst that can happen? We roll over and lose our entire load? Yep, that, that pretty much sums it up right there. Um, wow, that was, uh, that was intense. This looks like it's water. Nope, it's water and ice. But uh, yeah, pretty much this truck is unstoppable. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> we all know what happened to this ship that was unsinkable. But if I say the same thing about the ship that is, or the uh, the trucks that's unstoppable, we're uh, we're gonna have a little issue. Let's throw... I suppose the downside... Yeah, right now the downside is uh, definitely not having a garage to... change the setup of these. We're kind of stuck with logging trucks right now. Oops. Yep, that's a... That's not something you can just, you know, pump out of the way. Um, we do have one more load of, of lumber to come to basically pick up and, and bring back over. So I think I'm going to use a third truck. And I'm not 100% sure what truck that was. I had the comments, um, and I will have to look up the name of the person. But I will do that shortly after... Uh, I drop off this trailer and I'm not gonna quite refuel yet just because I sold the other trailer I should have kept it not thinking that we had another truck to fill up yeah that's fine we can just shove that out of the way uh, let's get rid of that $14,000 log carrier that seems expensive um, stop the engine there let's head back to Late COVID. And let's go into the garage because we don't have a truck. We don't have a truck set up. Um, all we have is our garage. So we're going to have to look at that. All right. So Jimmy Carlson, 2567, had commented 
commented on my last video saying that the P12 is a pretty good logging truck for short and mediums, and then we have the P16 for long logs. And I thought to myself, you know what? I haven't tried it for quite some time, and I'm sure we found some uh, upgrades for it. So let's go ahead and deck this thing out. We're actually back in Blackwater, Michigan, believe it, of all places. Um, we still haven't found the fine tune. Let's do the advanced special gearbox. Uh, still stock suspension. That's, you know, it is, I guess, what it is. We only have off road tires. Only off road tires. Okay, we're going to stick with our off road tires. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, we're going to go with the advanced, right? Yep. We've got the wedge on here. We've got the long saddle carrier, long carrier log, whatever. It's for the long logs. You guys know what it means. And, um, yeah, all we got is a sun visor. Um, I'm going to leave it pretty much stock. Might as well go for the quad horns. And uh, I'm going to go with a big old muzzle. Rims. Rims are rims. Colors the color. Although, are there any special... Nah, we'll, we'll go with the yellow. It's It kind of stands out. There's not a whole lot of customizations for this truck. Uh, you're, you're making me second guess myself there, Jimmy. Um, yeah. You know what? I said I'd try it, so here we are. Um, and just to prove to you, we're in, we're in Michigan. This is, uh, this has been quite some time since I've been here. You can kind of see all the trailers that I have laying around. Um, you know what the funny thing is? We only have a diff lock on this thing. Uh, are we sure we want to do this? Am I sure there wasn't an all wheel drive? There is no all wheel drive. All right. Well, you know what? Let's uh, retain the truck and let's head back over to the Pola Peninsula in Russia. And I guess we're going to go here. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what we got to do. You got to do what you got to do. And like I said, I'm a, a man of my word. Uh, we are going to we are going to use this truck. <laughs> and we're going to see how well it does. I think with the lack of chains, not even that, just the lack of all-wheel drive. Um, yeah, we gotta we gotta grab the trailer first. Totally forgot. Ooh, I am, I am just, I, I remember when I first found this truck, it felt so big and massive, and now it's like, no, it's actually rather small. <laughs> I wouldn't call it small, but it's, it's not as big as it once was. Alright, this may have been the worst idea of my life. Uh, if it was, then at least it's it's a good experience. It is nice to use older trucks that we haven't uh, we haven't used in a while. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm going out in the snow and the ice without all-wheel drive.
At least its turning radius is pretty good. Which is not something I would have said 150 some odd episodes ago. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. We're if if we have, uh, you know, what, I'll drive up and around, and then yeah, if if I end up with having a lot of issues before we even get to the logs, I think I'm going to bail and find a different truck. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm I'm hopeful that this will work. I mean, this isn't doing too bad here, so it's kind of a good thing. We do only have 80 gallons, though. That's, uh, that might be a limiting factor. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of damage there. By a little bit, I mean uh, nine hole damage. Uh, <laughs> I drove over the only large rock here. I suppose the nice thing is it does have pretty good ground clearance. Come on, there we go. Alright, so far not too bad. I'm, I'm going to give it a little bit higher of a score than I would have given it just by looking at the stats and the, uh, the options in the garage. The true test will be once we get on to, uh, once we get the logs on and then we uh, have to deal with mud and snow and ice and all that fun stuff. So. Traction may be an issue. I think really the only difference between using this in Michigan and using it now is the uh, the bigger engine. Which I've always complained that the uh, the stock engine and then the engine I believe we had four just wasn't quite powerful enough. And trying to get up hills and things of that nature were just... You couldn't do it. You really couldn't do it. Um, I gotta remember, which direction do we go? We gotta go pick up logs from here, so... I think we're gonna go to the left. completely forgot. Yeah, you do go to the right here. I'm going to take it straight up this hill. Yeah, that's a pretty good horn. <laughs> that's, a, that's a horn I wish I had on my truck. That's, that's deafening.
think I'm on a road. Am I not? Yep, I'm on a road. Wow. Is it a road? It's more of a clearing. Ended again, I'm not gonna lie. That did that snow pretty good. Or pretty well, I guess. I should probably use correct English. Alright, we're gonna pull into the uh, lumber pickup spot. Ooh, this is icy. Ooh. Um. I'm just gonna slide down here. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, this truck is a little sensitive. I'm gonna close my eyes. I just closed my eyes. I'm just going. Cannot believe we made it through that. I'm quite impressed. All right, well, there you go. We at least made it to the pickup point. Right now, I don't have any, I don't have any qualms about taking it all the way. Um, this mud is a little bit on the deeper side. Let's go ahead and spin this boss around. Mm, this is where the four-wheel drive is kind of lack, obviously. But we do have a winch, so... I mean, it, it did it. It took a little bit longer than it normally would have, but it did it. Nice little pattern in the snow there. Looks like somebody's playing. <laughs> Alright, so let's load up this lumber. That actually might give us more traction. Uh, having that weight above the wheels will probably probably give us more traction. I mean, we definitely got through this mud faster. Now we can bring the Azov in tow. Uh, I believe that has chain tires. That might not be a bad idea. It is. Pretty well fueled up. Ooh, I just horribly crashed because I can't see anything. This is weird. I know it's weird, but I think I'm going to bring the as off in tow. We're going to tow it, um, and then we'll have something to hopefully get get us out of trouble if we uh, if we get into it. So. Um, change trucks. There we go. Alright, I'm also going to skip towards morning. Let's get the Azov attached. I was, I was wondering why I said I couldn't attach the winch. Uh, but yeah, we're going to turn that on. It should just follow behind us. Seeing on how it has the all-wheel drive, it has, it has everything that we need. We just got to be a little cautious because we need to uh, keep in mind that this vehicle probably will get stuck. But maybe it isn't. Maybe it is a pretty good beast. It's done pretty good so far, so uh, I'm not too shocked. Actually, sorry. <laughs> I'm very shocked at how, how it's uh, been able to handle itself, so uh, it's good. I, I, like, I like using old trucks, like I said. And then uh, I also wanted to give another shout out to uh, 
because this viewer of mine slash subscriber, they have their own YouTube channel where they're doing their own uh, snow runner challenge run, uh, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. They are on, I feel like I missed a turn here. They're on episode 40 and they are uh, Northern, Northern Outlaw Game. And uh, he gave me a shout out, so I checked out his video, you know, left him a comment, did all that fun stuff, and uh, thought I'd return the favor and uh, give him a shout out as well. So if you're looking for uh, another playthrough from a different perspective, I believe he's in hard mode, if I'm not mistaken, and he's uh, he's doing a pretty good job. So go check it out if you uh, want some more SnowRunner content. And I'm just not pumping them out fast enough for you. <laughs> I feel like three a week, though, is is pretty much all you can ask for, right? Um, anything more than that, and that's just asking a little too much. Anyways, I actually used to do a lot more than uh, three a week. I gotta figure out where, where are we going? We're going way over here. That's right, so we gotta go... Yeah, we gotta go basically shoot for that trail there, so... I believe I, I saw a spot that looked like it would be better to cross, but I'm just going to cross here. And hope like <laughs> it's so weird not to see my front wheels moving whatsoever. Um, I probably should have picked a better spot to cross. Um, I am getting shoved a little bit. Okay, so this is where this really is where the all-wheel drive is, is hurting us. Or, I should say, the lack of all-wheel drive is hurting us. Is there a better spot to cross? And I realize right now the, the Azov is basically whipping us out of our, uh, of our little incident. But look at how little traction we have on the ice with this thing. Thank you, Azov. Um, you should probably fix yourself. I'm gonna try to cross here and then... go we'll very, very, very quickly across this little... Nope. We're, we're just gonna have to get shot. Actually, we may have done that on... I think we did do that on our own because right now the Azov is uh, struggling by itself, so... I think we, uh, I think we may have found an Achilles heel for, uh, this truck. Alright, Azov, you are... <laughs> now this has become a, a rescue mission for the Azov. <laughs> it's the one that's now stuck. Yeah, I think if we switch, let's change trucks real quick. Well, the Azov is pretty well stuck. Doesn't look like we're going to have enough juice to get us up and over. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Started to move. Come on. Alright, let's uh, change trucks. We'll just leave the ads off where it is. I'm kidding, we won't do that. Uh, although, <laughs> we are kind of stuck ourselves. We're slowly moving. This might be a good time to insert the uh, two hours later thing, but uh, I feel like I just used it, so... Should we try low gear and see if... Any of that seems to be helping? I 
we back up... Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, it's... It's like my rear axle is completely frozen. Hmm. I did not expect it to be, uh... So hard to move. I do a little bit of throttle. Just a little tiny... Tiny bit of throttle and then gun it. Oh. Hmm. This is, uh... Oh, this is where four-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive, would have, uh... Helped out quite a bit. There we go. Ah, that was dumb on me. Thought I was out of the mess. Can we get the as off up and out? Come on, get up. Get up. There we go. Alright, now we're... Now we're moving. Okay, but we are going to seriously have to get that eyes off, off our butt. There we go. Alright. Uh... Nope, I want to go... I gotta go left more. Traction is going to kill us here. Um... Oh, yeah. The Azov is attached to the front of our vehicle. That's fine. Uh, did we just go up that hill? No, that's not right. We gotta go way to the right. Crap, and we're breaking through the ice. Alright. We're safe and sound now. Come on. I'm going to. Oops. There we go. I don't know. It was bugging me that it was attached from the front of the truck. Okay, so the, definitely the Achilles heel of this truck is ice. Um, so we're going to have to be careful in the near future. <laughs> We're going to have to be careful no matter where we go. I, I'm just going to stay in the snow. Ugh. We just totally had the uh, as off beat the uh, telephone pole there. Actually, it's probably a power line, but whatever. You guys know what uh, That looks kind of dangerous. But let's do it. Why not? I kind of wish now the Azov had um, a fuel trailer attached to it as well. Whee! Oops. <laughs> oh boy, I just blew a tire. Um, that's not great. Yeah, I don't have any spares. You know what? It's okay, because it's just the front tire anyway, right? Come on. Just to prove it, the Azov is not pushing us. I just want to make that clear. The Azov, Azov is not pushing. Nope, wasn't pushing. Uh, which way do we go? Uh, yeah, I think we go left. Although now we gotta go... <laughs> we gotta back it up a little bit. There we go.
that track from down. Uh, I think we should be okay to go in the water. That's a big maybe. And the other thing is, is we're not going to pass any trailer stores anytime soon. We have no way to repair this truck. And the suspension I can handle, it's that front tire being blown. In fact, the suspension is almost completely shot. Hmm. Yeah, and like I said before, the Azov is definitely not pushing us. Um, so this truck is doing it all on its own. Alright, so uh, note to self, the P612, P16, geez. Uh, it may be a good truck, but not when it comes to mud and ice. Or just straight up ice. Uh, that lack of real wheel drive, or uh, the lack of all-wheel drive is, uh, is pretty bad, so. But definitely, we're not being pushed right now. So, that does have something to say before. It might be slow to get through this stuff, but it seems like it will get through this stuff. So, that's, uh, small bonus. Let's see. We are we are kind of stuck now, although I think that might be the first time that low negative actually kind of helped us out. Hmm. That felt like it did what it was supposed to do. Like we were stuck, we weren't moving. I don't, I can't tell if the tires are spinning. But, I think they are. But we put it in low and it just kind of crawled its way out. It gave it the torque that it needed. And let's, let's get the ads off to push us. Just a little bit. Maybe we can winch onto something too. That would that will definitely help. You guys gotta remember, I'm doing this with a flat front tire. Alright, let's... Let's try to get the Azov, or the uh, P16 out. I can't really tell what I'm stuck on right now. I got a feeling it's a stupid tree or something. Maybe it's at the edge of that cliff? No? Alright, let's uh... Yeah, let's actually go to the first person view. Nope. And maybe that tree will help. That's not gonna help. That's not going to help. Let's try to, uh... Can you not use this view to do the... Yes, I know. We really don't have an option, do we? Alright, you know what option we do have? That winch to that point. And then I guess that point. 
Um, let go. Um, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop. <laughs> Let's skip to morning. So we can see. Uh, we gotta go to the Azov too because... I gotta somehow rope this thing in and not, uh, not break it off. Don't you tip over. I go to... I, if I unpack my cargo right now, I think it, it's gone. I think it's gone. Um... Only thing I think I can do is try to shove this back underneath it. I think it's gone. Shoot. If it didn't. If it didn't do what it did. Pull from that side because it will want to uh, tip over. Come on, the cargo is still on. Does that count? How are these logs still on? All right, I'm gonna try to unpack and pack, and if this doesn't work, then. I don't think this truck's going to do us any good here, so let's let's unpack it. Yep. Um, there's just nothing I can do. I don't have a log crane. If I had a log crane, that could help. Um, I do have a that crane. I don't know if I can pick up logs with this crane. I'm kind of under the assumption that you can't. But let's try it and see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. I'm guessing it's a negative. Can't do it. Can I use... Can I use this to somehow wedge? If I pick this up to flip it on its side. Oh. Never mind, I can't even pick up this. Alright. I think... I think we're gonna end it there. Um... Unfortunately, it's just not a good fit for us. Uh, so we're going to have to pick a different truck. Uh, let me go ahead and restore the grain. We're going to change trucks. We're going to remove cargo just to get it out of the way. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to detach this trailer recover this truck back to the garage and we'll use the Azov to haul that trailer back because that's fourteen thousand dollars for the trailer so um this would be a wonderful truck if one it had chain tires or even mud tires but chain tires would definitely help it out especially in the, the on the ice and if it had all-wheel drive 
it had all-wheel drive, I could see it being useful. Uh, but unfortunately, with it not having all-wheel drive, we're going to have to sell it. Now, with that in mind, and I don't remember, so we have to go actually go check. The, B, the P12, I know it can do medium logs and small logs. Uh, oh, I can't buy it in this region. Let's preview it and just see. Um, so it does come stock, heavy. We could get the biggest engine, get the biggest winch. Spare tires, that would have been nice. It can do long logs. I was under the assumption that it could not do long logs. Why was I under that assumption? All right, well, you know what? Maybe we try the P12, shall we? Uh, we're going to have to head back to Michigan. That is a heavy duty truck. Let's see what the uh, what tires does it have. It does have a bigger range of tires, including chains. So that's that's a bonus. Ooh, it's even got dual outside change chains which they're saying it doesn't really matter but I feel like that's a better fit for the truck um, either the wide tires like this or the dual tires like that but you can't get duals in mud tires that's that's strange good excellent average Where's a average, excellent, excellent. Those are pretty good tires, at least from the wheel performance chart that they're giving us. Even though I think if you look it up on the actual charts, um, they're not the best tires for the truck. But I could be wrong. Um, these ones might be OK. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end the episode there on that uh, kind of failure, I guess we'll call it. It's not really a failure because you try, right? And if you try, you don't fail. You fail when you don't try. So uh, on that um, beautiful moment of uh, enlightenment that I supplied, <laughs> I will call it an episode there. We will uh, try again with the P12. I'll, I'll have to go to Michigan and get it and, and, and bring it back. and. We're going to try logging with that one and see how that does. But the uh, the P16, not good for not good in mud and, and ice. So uh, if you're going to log with it, probably use it in Michigan. Um, I think it's just one of those trucks that because it lacks all wheel drive, uh, it's a good early game truck and it's just that's where it's supposed to stay. So but that's just my opinion. Um, if you have have a different opinion let me know in the comments or if you agree with mine what the heck also let me know in the comments all right we will uh catch you guys in the next episode bye for now